How's it going everyone and welcome back to my FIFA 18 Brighton career mode. This is episode 3 and in the previous episode. Unfortunately, we crashed out of the pre-season tournament during the group stage, but it means we can advance forward through transfer window today and head into our first game of the season against Manchester City. Now, depending on how, many, how much transfer action goes through during this period, we might play Man City and the following fixture as well or it might just be Manchester City in today's game unfortunately there's no face cam today as you can probably well as you can tell by now I haven't been able to haven't been able to get my software to work I think it needs updating but I haven't had a chance to do that just yet so unfortunately we're going with no face cam today so you can see that Man City Leicester and Watford all to play in the month of August we may just play Manchester City today depending on how uh, how much how many transfer actions go through. In the previous episode we brought in our first signing of Zubar over at left wing back. We're looking now to sign a striker and I'm just basically waiting for a couple of for a couple of scout reports to come through for a few strikers that we're looking at. Nicky Ampena has been sold as you can see there in the top left. We'll advance forward and advance forward here and I'll bring you some action in the transfer window as it comes. Okay, so just as I say that, pretty much straight away, we can see that some action has already been involved here. We can see that Nicky M.A. Pa, I believe that's how it goes, he's agreed his personal terms with Bolton, so the deal of 430000 has now been finalised. The board have allocated an extra 300000 into our funds, which is always nice. Of course, the, um, the wage budget going up as well. We've had our scout report back for Andone, who is a striker who we're looking to bring in. But we've had a transfer offer for Liam Rosinha of uh, 2.9, well, pretty much 3 million from Nottingham Forest. Um, let's go and check. Let's just head over to the squad hub at the moment. Do we want Rosinha, um, Rosinha, I suppose it is, in our team at all? Let's quickly scroll through. So he he's the current left back. Um, he is 33 years of age. And only 71 rated, so really a good offer of 3 million has come in. Can I... Um, I can view the offer from here. So, to be quite honest, I think uh, it's it's way over, it's under his value, but way over what we're expecting. And at that, that age, that, that age, it's a very good offer. So we're going to go straight in and we're going to accept the offer there as well. So, we, of course, we've got Setignon on our shortlist. We can't approach him at, just at the moment, but we have brought in Zubar over in the left wing back. Then we've got three strikers that we're looking at. Um, Babacar, Andone and Austin. Austin maybe not so much interested in compared to Andoni and Babacar. Babacar, we haven't quite got our squad report, uh, our scout report back for just yet, and he's at the age of 24, the same as Andoni. Now we have had a report in for him. This is not what I want. So obviously we've accepted the bid for Rosinha. Right, I'll access the scout report from here. Uh, it was McNamee who had an update for me. Probably should have spotted that. So if we could, we could take a quick look. He's is a he's a very good player. And I'm very, very interested in him. He's valued at 15 million. I'm not 100% sure um, what our budget is, but we'll go and check that out right now. He's 79 rated, but at the, 20 years of, at the age of 24, he is very, very good. Um, I'd like to just see. So that's Andone. So valued at 15 million. Let's take a quick look at our transfer budget. Um, I think if we go into... We do have 21 million that we can spend... So that's nice. We have a nice big wage budget as well that we could maybe move over, which we might do actually just to get a little bit more. So we have the funds available. We have the funds available if necessary to bring in, to bring him in. We don't actually have a scout to be able to send out at the moment. So what I think I'll do is I think we'll actually just go straight in and see if we can bring in Amdone at a decent price. So let's go meet with the Deportivo representatives and see what we can do finalising a deal for our potential new striker at the club. They're going to let me start with an official with an, an initial offer. Um, and what we'll do, we, I don't want to insult them, he's a very good player, so I will just go straight in with the valuation of 15 million, and we'll see what they want to say about that. They want 25.5. Now, we don't have 25.5 in order to... We won't be able to afford his wages if we did that. So we're going to need to counter this a little bit and propose a new transfer fee. And basically, I'll I'll see if they'll meet me in the middle. In fact, I'll undercut them a little bit and we'll go 19 million. And that would be ideal. They're sticking at their guns at 25. Um, 25 is not good enough 
let's see if 21 is good enough. We can't afford 25 million, unfortunately. This could be the end of negotiations. They say 23, and 23 is uh, what I am willing to accept. So we've had a bid accepted for 23 million. We just now need to see if Andone will agree his wages. He's only on 27,000 at the moment, which is more than okay. So I'll advance forward and I'll bring you to any more further action here. We've had an offer come in for Sam Balduck uh, for just over 1.5 million. He's at the age of 28 at the moment. He is a striker and to be honest, not really looking at using him, but they reckon I could get a little bit more out of that. So we're going to negotiate a little bit and see if I can get one and a half million for him. And uh, with him moving on as well, that will just give us some more leeway in the Andone deal. And uh, it won't strap us for cash too much. So I'm going to see if they'll say 1.5 here. They're willing to do 1.5 million. So that's perfect. That deal can go through. That will help as well. He's on 31,000 a week, which is a lot less than what Andone is currently on. So plenty of... Uh, budget here to bring in Andoni into the club. Let's advance a little bit more further forward. Ah, and Andoni wants to go into negotiations. I've totally forgot I could do that from... I was the one that actually had to initiate that, so we'll, I'll go and do that now and we'll go and negotiate a contract with Andone. He's going to be an important first team player, if not crucial, but uh, we'll go with... Okay, he wants crucial. Uh, crucial I'm going to accept because that's more than fine. I'll offer him a four year contract, which he's happy with. That's perfect too. He doesn't want a release clause, which is perfect with me. That's more than fine. No release clause is fine by me. Now he wants 35,000 a week with a signing bonus of five, uh, signing on fee of 510,000. And ah, we've problem is we haven't got uh, Rosini hasn't come in just yet, and we can't actually make that the sorry the no deals of we haven't sold any players just yet. Um, so unfortunately, I'll give him a million pound signing on fee, uh, but I'm going to have to reduce his wages slightly. And thirty-three and a half. Again, this this could be the end of the negotiation deals here because I don't yet have the money, and I should have probably waited. Um, it hasn't gone through, but I don't think. I'm going to have to end the negotiations for now. I'm hoping... Okay, in a week we can try again and we'll have to go through it all again. So we just need the deals, some players to leave just to be able to get our transfer budget back up. And hopefully, right, Rosinia has gone. That's a good start. Unfortunately, Sam Bollock transfer has broken down, but Rosinia going... Um, we've had a transfer offer for Connor Goldson as well. Um, Sam Bolduck is staying for now. Connor Goldson is a young centre back. Well, he's, he's he's 24, but only 70 rated overall. So I might want a little bit more out of that. I'm going to try and squeeze a little bit more out of Huddersfield here, and we'll see what we can do. Um, I want to see if they'll go to maybe four and a half million for him. That might be too high, but 2.4 and a 5% salon clause. Um, oh. Let's see if they'll go to three and a half for him. The 5% salon clause is fine. We can leave that one in. Uh, he's not happy with that, so... <laughs> That's the end of that one anyway, but that's fine. Let me just check on my wage budget quickly. And um, Okay, wage budget's now up to 97k. That should be fine to bring him in. I'm not 
sure. Can I go back in just yet? Can't go just yet. So I'm going to have to wait a little bit longer before we can bring him in. But that's fine. Maybe hoping for maybe someone else to come back in. We've had an offer for Robert Sanchez. Um, the 19-year-old goalkeeper. I'm just going to go straight in and accept that. That's fine by me. Not too, uh, not too bothered about that. Just again, freeing up some wage budget to bring in and donate, which is what we want. I don't know how long ago it was since we um, chased him. We'll, we'll give him till the end of the week. As you can see, that Manchester United signed Leighton Baines here, which is interesting. Transfer for Robert Sanchez has gone down. Bong, again, I think that was one that we we've rejected previously um, from Leeds. And again, I'm gonna. Mm, I think actually, I'm not sure what happened there. I think maybe it, we asked for a little bit too much, but they offered. I don't think they offered five million. I think that was us negotiating a five million pound deal, which doesn't seem right if you ask me. So, I'm gonna reject it for now. Bong's not a bad player, to be fair, and we we've just bought in a new left back. But I think that um, we might be a bit short on left backs at the moment. So uh, can I come back in? I can now come back in for Andone. So I will do that. So we had uh, twenty-two million pound accepted. So I'm going to go straight in with uh, twenty this time, and let's see what happens if I do that. Can ask for twenty-four point seven. Can't remember what we went for last time. I'm, I'm going to accept. Well, I wasn't meant to do that, but do you know what? At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Now, before we start playing around with any contracts, um, Shiletto is out for six weeks. That's okay, I suppose. I want to play around with my budget a little bit just to make sure I can see what we've got here. Okay, we'll go with important, but I think. They want crucial. They do indeed. Happy to accept crucial. Uh, four years again, which they should accept, and they have. That's perfect. Uh, no release clause, which is, of course, fine by me, so we'll accept that. Okay, so his salary. This time they're asking me to go in, so I'll go for 28. Uh, not not 28 million, that would be quite extreme, wouldn't it? So we'll go in with 28 and we'll see what they say. And I feel like he's going to want a signing bonus. So I'll actually throw that out at 500,000, which is what they previously wanted. Um, he's willing to take a pay cut this time, so now they're being a little bit more generous. Uh, but he wants 750,000 for 15 goals, which is fine. By me, we'll accept that, and then donate will become a Brighton and Hove Albion player, and he's going to jump straight into that starting lineup ahead of Glenn Murray. Uh, so Schletto out injured there is a bit annoying. So just a good job really that uh, Bong didn't actually leave the club, and I'm going to bring in Andone onto the bench, um, Hemed, and I just want to well not on the bench, but I just want to quickly compare Hemed. And Murray. Um, Murray actually looks better, so we'll leave it like that and then we'll bring and donate up top. So, two new signings now into the team, and we're ready for our game against Manchester City. I'm not sure there's going to be much more else going on, but I'll bring you anything else that does happen. But as you can see, the day, the date against Manchester City is fast approaching. I've had a loan offer for Is Kaerdo, and that. I'm going to straight away reject because he's going to be a great player for us this season. So it's a good bid in there. Um, two, bong, two bong offers both rejected, of course. Um, another offer for Sanchez. Um, I've accepted them all, but he just can't agree personal terms with anybody. So it's over to him, really, whether he wants to leave the club or not. At the moment, I can't seem to shift him. And again, as you can see there in the top hand of the top of the screen that uh, the... Deal again has broken down, which is another bit of a pain. Um, Isaiah Brown would like to start. Um, 
I'm not sure that's going to be happening. But we've now got our first game of the season against Manchester City. So, um, that's not a good... Mm. I feel like the awake, it's probably a little bit more better there. Um, the team that we're going to line up with is, of course, Ryan Goal, Zubar, Dunk, Duffy, Salta, uh, Knockart, Stevens, Proper, Iskaedo, Gross, and Andone. Um, the bench is fine. I'm happy, I'm happy with Ryan Goal. Isaiah Brown will be on the bench, and that's going to be that. So let's jump into this game against Manchester City, looking for our first win of the season. But it's going to be a tough team against the former champions. So then we arrive at the Amex Stadium for the start of a brand new Premier League season. It's Brighton and Hove Albion against Manchester City here on this foggy afternoon as it looks. It doesn't look um, too great. I think rain starting to trickle down here and uh, although it being August this is Great Britain of course and you can never rely on fantastic weather. But the stage is set. Two new signings in our team. Uh, we'll see the Manchester City lineup momentarily, no doubt, and hopefully we'll be looking for a strong performance. It's going to be tough here against, of course, former title holders of the Premier League, Manchester City. But here come the team lineups in a moment. Two player debuts, of course. Benjamin Mendy makes his debut for Manchester City at 15.5 million, and of course, Andone and Zubar as well will make their debuts for us at left back and striker, respectively. There is Benjamin Mendy. And uh, he's going to be a tricky defender to get around, but it'll be a test <clears throat> of whether Andone can actually use his strength and his ability, his quickness, to get around Mendy. So we know our lineup, but just a quick cover. Ryan will start in net. We've got Salter, Duffy, Dunk, and Zubar as the back four. Knockart, Stevens, Proper, Izquierdo as the central four. Gross as an attacking midfielder. And new signing, Andone, number 16, up top. Krul, Bong, Hunemer, and the rest of the substitutes on the bench. You can see, we'll take a look at the Man City lineup. Bravo starts in net. It's Danilo, Otamendi, Mangala, Stones, and new signing, Mendy. It's part of a back five. Uh, Torre, Dalf, and Fernandinho make up the middle three with Aguario and Gabriel Jesus up top. That is going to be a tough one. Edison, Walker, De Bruyne, Farpula, Brennan, Silva, all on the bench. A very strong bench. Fielded by Manchester City. But here we go for the first Premier League game here at the Amex Stadium. It's Brighton versus Manchester City. Couldn't quite find him there. He's drifted out wide, has Andone. But Stones will get there ahead of him. We'll just knock this back a little bit. There's space in the middle here for Stevens, And Stevens will be able to find Gross. And if Gross can get his shot away, which he can't. But it will fall for Proper. And Proper will get the shot away. And the first action in the Premier League here at the Amex Bang on 10 minutes is a shot from proper. It's actually deflected, but um, and it deflected just wide. You can't quite see it from the replay, but it has given us a corner just 10 minutes in. Anthony Knockart will take it, and it's cleared away by Mangler. My man just wouldn't quite head that one for some reason, but the clearance actually found Aguero. Now that here comes Izquierdo, and Izquierdo could whip a ball, and there's nobody really there, to be honest. To win that one, it's going to fall out as far as Bruno though. Proper on the edge of the box, but our long range shots haven't been able to work so far. Gross has found a man round the back. It's Izquierdo, and Izquierdo's in, and Izquierdo scores. And with just 15 minutes or so into the match, 20 minutes exactly, Brian and Hove Albion have taken the lead over here by against Manchester. It was lovely worked goal as well. I was positive that Izquierdo was stood in an offside position, but I played him through anyway. And it's great vision to see that. We can't tell from that angle how onside or offside he was. It's a beautiful, tidy finish past the goalkeeper. Bravo in net. And it's 1-0 thanks to the number 19. He puts Brighton in front here. Just 20 minutes gone. I have to say, it's not the strongest lineup from Manchester City. Yes, they've got Jesus and Aguero up top, but they've got the likes of Kyle Walker and Kevin De Bruyne on the bench. So they could do something. But there could be an instant reply here as... As Aguero manages to get Man City's first shot away just three minutes after we scored. And Ryan, first call into action of the season. And that, I tell you what, that was creeping into that top corner. It's a fantastic save. It's going to be a corner to Manchester City. I think it's proper, not proper. Apologies if I've been saying that wrong. Here's goal scorer Izquierdo. And Izquierdo, he's got the space again. Oh, and this time it was exactly the same sort of angle and same shot that he tried last time that beat Bravo. This time Bravo was a little bit more alert to the situation despite the... I think it's Andone 
covering his vision, but it is hit straight at him, to be fair. Goes out for a corner, which is Kiedo will take, and it's gone to the near post. It's cleared away by Torre, but Anthony Knockhart will fire that one home, and he'll double Brighton's lead here. It's 2-0 here at the Amex Stadium with just half an hour played. We are absolutely demolishing Manchester City. It's the resulting corner that's cleared away by Torre and it fell straight to Nokar and he's just sliced that one into the legs of the Man City man. I'm not sure who it was. It's number 33 there that was trying to defend it. Bravo really has no chance. It's an absolute balter of a shot. Otamendi not looking blessed, best pleased but Nokar's shot on goal there gives us a second. It's 2-0. Here come Manchester City, they've got pace and quality in their attack. And it's Aguero and it's Jesus who link up. And um, that one was always going to go in. Just like I said, it's going to be a deadly partnership of Aguero and Jesus. Aguero might over-celebrate in here. He's uh, running back to his manager to celebrate. But there's not a lot to celebrate yet because five minutes to go in the half. And uh, we still have the lead here at 2-1. But Aguero has pulled one back and fair play to him. You can see here it's the 1-2 passing. Wasn't the best of defendings. We left him well open. This time, you'd expect Aguero to score from that angle. And indeed, he did. It's 2 1. She plays it short to Nokar. Out wide to goal scorer is Kiedo. Here's Zubar steaming forward. It's played into uh, Proper, sorry. Proper just can't get out of his feet as Delilo passes that one away. Referee blows for half time. So, an exciting burst of energy here at the Amex Stadium in the first Premier League season. First game of the Premier League season. It was first blood to us, thanks to Izquierdo's lovely vision and run and just the space that he created. And we doubled our lead thanks to Knockout. But just before the half on 40 minutes, Aguero pulled one back. And we go into half time. It's Brighton and Hove Albion 2, Manchester City 1. So we're going to jump into the second half. It's the same 11 that ended the first. And will there be another exciting half of football in store? I think so. Man City will go up against Everton. Here's Mendy. Here's Gabriel. Jesus, he's linked up play with Aguero, has been good so far, and he finds Aguero again here, who finds De Bruyne, who shot his what, cannons off the bar, it falls straight back to him, unfortunately he can't finish that one, Manchester City are going to make another substitution, so are we, we're going to bring Murray on for Andone, it's not been the best performance to be honest with you, we'll bring on some fresh legs as well, Duffy's been good and we'll just freshen up that defence. But Benjamin Mendy's going to flick a ball in. There's not really anybody there. It's fallen for the substitute burner. Dunk will get rid of it eventually. Is anyone going to fall onto that? It's going to be off to Mendy. We can't intercept the ball off him. He knocks it forward to Silva. Here's Torre. Yaya Torre. And it's intercepted off Stones. And Knockhart's going to knock this one forward. And a lovely bit of counter-attacking play here. And can Brown get away from the defender? I don't think he's going to be able to. Otto Mendy, just a little bit too quick for Brown there. That's a little bit unfortunate. I was expecting Brown to be able to pace away. But it's actually set up a, an attack here for Manchester City. They're still in. It's not over yet. The deflection, the shot from Aguero is blocked. And the deflection takes it out for a corner. Everyone is up for Manchester City. It's fallen to David Silva. It's hit their own man. It's in the arms of Ryan. And Ryan will boot this one forward. And referee will call for full time. So we will finish the dream start to a Premier League season for Brighton and Hove Albion. They have defeated Manchester City and a very strong Manchester City side. There was not much action in the second half. All the goals came in the first. And it was Izquierdo and Knockout who gave us a 2 lead. Aguero was able to pull one back just before the half time. We then survived an onslaught of shots and possession and pressure from Manchester City in that second half. We were able to control it a little bit with some substitutions later on and we were just able to see that game out. And it's finished here at the Amex Stadium. It's Brighton and Hove Albion 2, Manchester City 1. So due to all the transfer um, debacles and sort of things at the start of this episode, we will just be playing the one game right there. We'll just see if um, it's just Brown saying thank you for playing in the last match, which is no problem at all. In the next episode, we'll head towards that game against Leicester and we will, of course be bringing some more transfers to you. I'm not sure if we'll be bringing in any more players uh, depending on what sort of offers come in for us because as you can see that deal for Andone has um, taken our transfer budget down to only 1.3 million so we're pretty much good with the squad depth so far and if the team can go and beat Manchester City then we're not really going to need too much. Let's just see what the table looks like at the end of match day one though. So it was Stoke, Brighton, Arsenal, Palace and Southampton who all picked up victories Bournemouth, West Brom, Burnley, Chelsea, Liverpool and Watford were only able to 
draw. United, Newcastle, Spurs, West Ham are yet to play, assuming they play on the Sunday. And of course, Man City, Huddersfield, Leicester, Swansea, and Everton are the teams that to the five teams that picked up defeats on match day one. So a cracking start. We've beaten Manchester City. But that's going to be the end of today's episode. Be sure to drop a like on the video if you did enjoy one. And subscribe too if you're new to the channel to keep up with any more future content. And until next time, goodbye.